is an Eicher 3709. I don't show it a lot on YouTube as we don't use it a lot. It really makes less than 10 hours every year. We use it a few times during harvest just to pick up bins. The planting sometimes it's useful to pull a trailer, but basically that's all the use that we have for this tractor. That's also the reason that we decided to sell it. We have had this tractor for 25 years almost I think or it is 25 I'm not sure we got it somewhere when I was five or six years old we bought it second hand it was from a colleague farmer in our village and he sold it as he wasn't using it that much anymore and the tractor was also really broken at the time so this tractor was being used in glass houses before 25 years ago and it has always been from the first owner so we are the second owner the owner who we bought it from 25 years ago was the dad of the guys who buy it back today. So it's also a good thing for us as we know the tractor is going to a good home and I'm sure they will restore it really nice into original shape and make it a really nice driving tractor. In the first 10 years we drove this tractor without forklift as we didn't have any hydraulics on the tractor. The tractor basically was just meant to pull trailers with. It was really cheap back then, that's the reason why dad bought it. It was just to get through the orchard with a little trailer on an open cab tractor so that we could really get on and off really easy. And it served us really well on that. We have a lot of good memories with this tractor. But now these days we just don't use this tractor anymore. As we have a golf cart, as you can get it in there even easier and you just hit the throttle and you're off. So we don't need to start the engine every time. The tractor is also too light to drive apple bins with. As with one ap apple bin you're already floating over the road. So it isn't heavy enough and we really like to drive with two apple bins. So that's not good enough. But we have other tractors to do that kind of work. When we bought this tractor the paint was worn off. The hitch didn't work. The engine was smoking really bad. There is another issue with this tractor, and that's the steering wheel. As you can see, it has quite a lot of play. We already fixed it up two times in the past, but yeah, the base of the problem is just the steering house here is worn out. We already replaced all the links in front, so they are already play free. In 2015, we repainted it, so. We did our International 423 and also the 956 back then. And we also painted this tractor back then. So that's the color it's having now. We didn't take it apart too much. We just took the hood off and all the blue parts. We cleaned off all the parts that had to become gray. We painted the gray parts and we painted the blue. We painted the rims. And that's basically what we did back then. In 2017, the complete engine was restored. So it got new piston rings, the whole cylinders are renewed, so it doesn't smoke that bad anymore. And uh, that's all adjusted really nice. The whole engine restoration was done by an Eicher expert, so I don't have an exact list at this moment what was being done. But a lot has been done and it doesn't smoke anymore today, and that's really good. Another issue this tractor has, and we fixed it a little bit, but not completely. The rear of the tractor doesn't hold oil. That's really bad, as that means the whole hitch system cannot work anymore. That was already the case when we got it. So that's never gonna work again. And that's just something we have to accept. So about 15 years ago, we built this little tank on here. It's an old compressor tank. That it's now used as the hydraulics tank to control the forklift with. To fix it, it would be several thousand euros. And we bought this tractor so cheap that you cannot invest the money in it. We also don't use it for work to invest the money in it. And it wouldn't make sense to us to invest it. So we never invested in that. However, it would be nice to have a forklift on it. And this forklift actually came with the tractor when we bought it 25 years ago. And it was reattached again 15 years ago. And the tractor has a really small hydraulic pump. And with that it's able to lift the forklift up, but it's going really slow as it's a really small pump. But it's just for emergencies for us, so 
it does the job, it has to do, but nothing more. It has a lot of emotion, emotional value as, yeah, we had a lot of fun with it, but I am sure that family also had a lot of fun with it. So, yeah, it feels good to give it back to them. At our farm, it has only been standing in the shed for 10 years and being used very little during the time. So that's why we sell it. We're definitely gonna miss it as we have a lot of memories with this one. Me and my sister, we both grew up with this tractor as this was the first tractor we learned to drive. It's the smallest one, but also the easiest one to drive. And for little kids, that's really an ideal tractor to learn with. So yeah, we have been steering and driving this tractor ever since we were six, seven years old. So it has a lot of memories. The tractor has four gears and it has a high and a low and also a reverse so reverse goes for high and for low so two reverse speeds and eight forward speeds So the engine is a three-cylinder air-cooled engine and it has only 35 or 38 horsepower. It's really simple as you don't have a lot of maintenance on an air-cooled engine. That's why this factor is so useful. It's an always runner. You never have issues with the coolant system as it's so basic, it just doesn't break down. Here we got the diesel tank. So it has a about 40 liter diesel tank and we ran it empty a lot of times in the past as we don't have a fuel uh, dodge. So it means we have to fuel it up before we go to work and make sure you have fuel. That's the way we have always used it. The battery sits on a really nice spot here. So if you ever need to put a new one on, it's really easy you can access it really well and also if the battery is empty it's a really nice spot for the battery
shut this arch off. We have to push this rod down to actually get it off. As we don't have an off switch on this track, we really have to close the fuel pump manually just by pushing this down that will close the fuel pump probably it was being controlled in the past from somewhere here but we never had that lever that's supposed to be there since we ever had the tractor the tractor remains on ignition as long as the key is in so we have to pull it a little bit back and then we can feel a little click and now it's off ignition so not using any power anymore So that's basically the Eicher. Here we say goodbye to our Eicher. I'm sure we're gonna see it again in the future when we go to old timer events for tractors. As I'm sure we will be seeing this one at these meetings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you get a notification when the next video comes online. Thank you for watching.